How you going? When I was a kid, Halloween was a pretty spooky time of the year. You had all the bats, ghosts, gorillas, lizard people, and all the parties that I wasn't invited to. And as I have grown up now, and I like to pretend that I'm an adult, things have changed. I'm still not invited to parties, but those scary costumes from the past just don't have the same oomph that they used to. So today, I'm gonna to come up with a costume that will scare the mortgage out of any adult. So what scares adults? And I think there are a lot of things. For me, one of the scariest parts about getting older is having the knowledge that I am biologically aging. My cells will eventually stop preparing themselves and every second that passes means that I'm getting closer and closer to death. And then, while I'm freaking out about my own mortality, I also somehow need to do something meaningful in my life to avoid disappointing my family, like creating some offspring that are then gonna grow up and also freak out about their own mortality. So I thought this would be a great spooky idea I could turn into a costume. You know, I could be like death with a countdown clock. But then I thought it might be a little too morbid for kids that come around trick-or-treating. And also my robe is short and my family uses a whippersnipper to cut our lawn, which isn't quite as spooky as a scythe. So I thought of another really terrifying part of being an adult, which is when you're expected to start pulling your weight in society by getting a job that you hate. And I've worked a lot of shitty jobs, 17 in the past five years. And for me, the scariest part of most of these jobs was the journey to work. You know, it's Monday morning and you're amongst the crowds of depressed people on a late running Sydney bus sitting next to a guy with a tuna sandwich in his bag. And then you start stressing out because you don't even know if you're gonna get to work on time and then get fired from that job that you don't even like. And this morning commute becomes even more stressful if you live in a country like Japan. And I think a lot of people can relate. So let's turn men on a bus in peak hour traffic into a costume. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a pack of assorted pipes to make the bus frame. Or if you are handy with a grinder, you could just steal one from a real bus. Then I'm gonna give it a paint job. And the colors I've chosen were inspired by the buses in Sydney. And I tried ringing up Transport Australia and asking them where I could buy their exact paint that they use. But when I asked the bloke on the telephone, he just laughed and told me it was a secret. So I just cut out the handle and assembled it together. Now it's time to put on your most depressing tie. I find brown really gets me down. Then imagine it is Monday morning and the most cheerful part about your life is choosing what toppings you're gonna to put on your Cheerios. Now pick your outfit. I got my inspiration from the man who cares about foot support so he wears joggers during his daily commute. It also gives him an excuse to go for a jog as doing exercise is a great way to start the day. There you go, the scariest costume known to mankind. If you like that, make sure to subscribe and check out some of my other stuff.